In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to create your own pages within Symfony. And one thing that I said incorrect in the last video was that this path right here needed to be an absolute path uh, within Git Bash. So, like, you need to put C colon slash whatever. But this can just be a relative path also. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reinstall Symfony in this video and I'm going to use a relative path instead. So, because we already have Composer installed, we can just copy this line right here. And I'm going to open up Git Bash. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my C drive, and that's CD slash C. And then I'm going to go over to my projects folder, so CD XAMPP slash htdocs slash projects. And then I'm going to use the insert button and paste that line in there. So the first thing we want to do is change this xdev at the back of the line and change that to a 7. And then we can just move left along here. I'm going to change this uh, capital S to a small s. And then I'm going to remove the path to web root in front of that. And I'm going to replace it with just a period. So this period is going to point to the current directory, which is the projects directory. And then we want to create the symphony folder inside it. So this is just point slash symphony. And we don't need to make any changes to Symphony slash Framework Standard Edition. And then at the beginning, I'm just going to remove .far here. And I'm going to remove PHP because we already have Composer in our environment path and press enter. So that's finished installing now. So if I went over to my projects folder here, we'll see that Symphony folder right there. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to create my bundle. So what we can do now is we can cd over to the symphony folder. And then we can type php app slash console generate colon bundle. Oops. Colon bundle. And the namespace is going to be anthony slash crud bundle, same as last time. We'll confirm that with enter. SRC is fine. Uh, we're going to use YAML again for the annotation. Uh, yes, we want the whole directory structure. We're going to update the kernel yes and update the routing. And that's finish. So inside of TANA, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to promote this to a project. So first inside the project explorer, I'm going to go to computer and then C, SAMP, and then my htdocs and then projects folder. And I'm going to right click on Symphony and promote it to a project. And web is fine. And then we can go over to our app explorer and we'll see our Symphony folder right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is open up the app folder and then go to config and then go to routing.yml. And we'll see that when we create our bundle, it added this, it added this line right here. Um, the first line is not important. Um, but this prefix here of a slash is basically saying, um, you know, this routing right here is pointing to another routing file. And that other routing file can be found inside SRC and then Anthony crud bundle. And then go to resources, config, routing.yml. So this routing.yml is pointing to this routing.yml and basically what it's asking you here is um, you know what do you want the routing to start from and here we're, we just have a slash so it's going to start from uh, basically the end of the URL so um, here we have app dev uh, sorry app underscore dev dot php slash so this is where the routing is going to start from that slash right there so we know that it's starting from the end of the app dev and then we can go over to routing.yml here and we'll see right now it has hello slash name and then defaults and what I'm going to do here is I'm first going to I'm going to remove that name there and I'm going to change hello to weather and we're just going to make a really simple weather page and we can change this uh, we can change this to we'll call it we'll call it the weather page 
and this is pointing to our controller uh, with the default controller so um, inside my Anthony folder I'm going to open up controller and then default controller and what I'm going to do here is I'm first going to remove this name variable that's being passed into index action so we're first going to check this out um, without that being passed in and we'll also remove um, the second parameter of this render function where it's passing in an associative array right here so I'm just going to delete that as well and we'll first see this uh, page is working in its most basic format so this controller here it's loading in a view and the view that it's loading in is index.html.twig so let's first open that up and take a look at that and that's inside resources and then views default and then index.html.twig and we'll see here it says hello slash name and I'm just going to change this to this is the weather page so you'll see in routing.yml we have slash weather here so what we can do now is go over to our browser and if we press enter here we should get uh, the symphony welcome page and then after this I'm going to put slash weather and you'll see here that we got this is the weather page so what I want to do now is make a couple adjustments to this page which is if somebody places Vancouver after weather then we're going to show the weather page for Vancouver but if they omitted this and they just put in slash weather then we're going to show the weather for New York just as a default so in order to make this happen we need to make a couple of changes to our files the first thing we need to do is after slash weather here we need to make it able to accept a variable so here we're just going to put city and inside the defaults array right here we're going to put a comma and we're going to go city is set to New York and after we do that we can go over to our default controller and our index now is going to be taking a variable so it can be passed in uh, a variable optionally and we're, that is going to be we're going to call that dollar sign city and then inside this um, this render function right here um, as a second parameter we should pass in an associative array so we'll go array here and then city dollar sign city so now we're passing in that array variable as the second parameter and I think I've made one mistake here inside my um, routing.yml file which is this shouldn't be an equal sign this should be a colon the last thing we need to do in order to test this is we need to update our view in order to show the variable that we passed into it so I'm just going to make a simple change here which is this is the weather page for and then we use a double set of curly braces here and then we're going to put the variable name which was city you can see this city matches up with what we passed in our in our controller right here we have the city index of that array so we can go over the browser now and test this and we'll just press enter here and it says this is the weather page for New York and now I'm going to do slash Vancouver now we have this is the weather page for Vancouver so that's just a simple example of how to create a dynamic page in Symphony.